gentlemen, State Representative Jefferson Smith. Mr. President, this is for you. Oh, hi, sweetie. A young waiter earning minimum wage plus tips. Was working in the United States Senate dining room. And a man called him over and asked for another pat of butter. The waiter said, I'm sorry, sir, just one pat of butter per customer. And the man says, you don't understand. I am not merely a customer. I'm a United States senator. I'm asking you for another pat of butter. Sir, I'm, I'm sorry, just, just one per person. Son, I'm chair of appropriations. It means that billions of dollars flow through my fingers. I'm asking you for another pat of butter. Sir, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, just one per customer. Young man, presidents quake in my presence. I'm a United States senator. Who the heck do you think you are? Well, sir, I'm the guy with the butter. <laughs> and let us be very clear that in a democracy, we and you are the ones with the butter. We took just that section. Or that section. Those are more votes in just those sections that decided the president the presidential race in Florida in 2000. This room, this room is more votes then decided the same race in Oregon statewide that same year. If everybody in this room just did an evening of knocking or calling and got a household worth of voters, five, six, seven voters, that would be 50,000 votes. That is more than 2% of the electorate more than pundits and polls predict will decide this race. The power for this election is you in this room. In a year when naysayers and national cable shows talk about a lack of enthusiasm, all I see here is enthusiasm.
You are a testament to the energy and momentum in Oregon in a year when selfishness and greed disguise themselves as a political movement. You are the answer. You are a testament to the idea that protecting our coasts isn't anyone's job. Protecting women's freedom to choose and responsible economy is not anyone's job. It is all of our jobs. You are the coalition of the benevolently irrational. The good people doing good things for no good reason. And with you, democracy is possible. And you are priceless. Definition of priceless, worth a lot, not for sale. Thanks to you and the marvelous people working on this campaign, and showed by recent polls and nearly every newspaper in the state, momentum is firmly moving towards one candidate, our once and future governor, John Kissop. decade turns, history is asking us all a question. What sort of state, what sort of people will we be? And at some point it won't be merely history asking us a question, it will be our own children and grandchildren. And they will ask us, where were you? When Oregon was defending women's right to choose, where were you? When flawed science denied climate change and opened the idea of drilling off our coast, where were you? When we considered whether experience and fitness for the job were in fact qualifications to do that job, where were you? And we will be able to say we were here. When Oregon stayed a beacon of personal freedoms and say it with me, we were here. And when we were improving our schools, we were here. And when Oregon trumpeted that the preservation of our environment is the preservation of our economy, we were here. When Oregon spurred a recovery with family wage jobs, we were here. With the personal efforts of a room full could determine the election of a leader who was ready on day one, we were here. And when the President of the United States, Barack Obama, and Governor John Kitzhaber shared the stage for the future of Oregon, we were here.